As Tulsa police work to quell the gang violence that always seems to rise this time of year, these people filling a room at NSU Broken Arrow are doing the same. It's not like the days of, of uh, the old red and blue uh, that it used to be. Things are, things are very different now. Sergeant Van Ellis is with TPD's gang unit. He's also part of the Oklahoma Gang Investigators Association, which brings law enforcement officers and civilians together to learn and share information. Sometimes the indicators are somewhat subtle. And uh, it's, it's easy to see, uh, uh, or, or it's not always criminal, uh, and, and not always criminal indicators that, that indicate gang, gang membership. Ellis says events like Gangs 101 are invaluable when it comes to educating people who work with at risk kids so they can intervene when they spot signs of gang affiliations, hopefully, before those kids become initiated members and a much bigger problem. Nobody deserves to be shut down like animals on the street. It's an issue that is close to Dio Atatugla's heart. In 2005, his son Joseph was gunned down in a suspected gang shooting. Then last month, his youngest son was also shot. He's expected to recover. Dio is hopeful, seeing these agencies working together to protect kids. Everyone, we need to work together and put, you know, stop to it, you know, because too many victims are just being, you know, killed senselessly and things like that. Enough is enough.